Welcome to phase two of the development of the Space Culinary Lab. For this phase, we have refined, developed, and tested a functional prototype of the lab. The purpose of the Space Culinary Lab is to turn the traditional galley into a farm-to-table kitchen where astronauts are given the opportunity to grow and make food that is both delicious and nutritious. The most important aspect of the lab is the freedom it gives them to make the food they want however they want it. The lab is a system that is safe, compact, low maintenance, and requires relatively low material, water, energy, and human labor inputs. The results? Enhanced flavors, textures, rituals, and nutritional value that delight humans in their journey through deep space. It will provide an appetizing culinary experience while promoting health and well-being for long-duration astronauts. With some modifications, this lab also has the potential to offer nutritious and beautiful food to people in food-challenged environments on Earth. We made sure the design of the Space Culinary Lab aligned with the technical requirements of the Deep Space Food Challenge. Still, we also wanted it to be fun to use and beautiful to live with, so we can start establishing a future of space that is more empathetic and welcoming to the whole of humanity. The Space Culinary Lab is divided in four sections. The creaming machine, the space barbecue, the microalgae snack system, and the aeroponic garden. We will illustrate our narrative with our functional prototype that displays how astronauts can grow and prepare delicious foods and beverages, and of course, clean after themselves and keep going for the entirety of the deep space mission. System one, coffee. First, place the shelf-stable ingredients like coffee powder, clarified butter, and lecithin in the silicone bottle and add hot water. The rotostator emulsifier churns polar substances into a creamy coffee drink. Next, insert the emulsifying probe through a valve into the bottle and let it run for about 30 to 60 seconds. Once emulsified, replace the probe with a straw and enjoy this delicious, creamy, hot beverage. To clean the probe, insert it in a second bottle containing an enzyme-based cleaning fluid. Run the emulsifier for 10 seconds, then wipe the probe clean. Finally, insert a suction probe to drain the cleaning fluid, then rinse and repeat. No further maintenance steps are needed between uses. Now astronauts can enjoy a variety of unctuous and comforting beverages, just like they would at home. System 2. Space Barbecue To make protein look and smell like it came off the barbecue, we can apply laser grill marks to its surface. First, rehydrate a piece of freeze-dried chicken in a carbohydrate marinade. We tested maple syrup, and it was shown to be pretty effective at helping the process of caramelization. Next, turn on the grill, open the orange safety door, and place the meat between the spring-loaded borosilicate glass plates. Once the door is closed, use the display to turn on the laser. Grill marks will appear in the same amount of time it takes for it to be microwaved on Earth. Once finished, the laser will automatically shut off and the gantry will move out of the way. The chicken is now ready and it smells and tastes like a freshly seared piece of meat. To clean up, simply wipe the inner plates with the disposable food safe citric acid based wipe. System 3 Macronutrient Snacks. Protecting your body's cells from the extreme environment of space can start with tasty algae bites. We have created a bioreactor that grows microalgae in a mixture of water, carbon dioxide, salts, and nutrients. To harvest the biomass easily, a custom mechanism removes algae and adds nutrients and fresh water for the next batch. Biomass discs are extracted and placed into a dehydrator for three hours. Once dried, the microalgae disc is extracted. Now, microalgae by itself doesn't smell or taste appetizing, but we can mix it with grains, with nuts, berry powders, and spices to create sweets, savory, or sour snacks. Astronauts can vacuum seal extra bites and refrigerate them up to seven days. Minimal hand interactions with the microalgae helps reduce the risk of contamination throughout the process. To clean, 
use an enzymatic solution as with the coffee system. For a constant supply of algae, we recommend starting a new culture every week. Be sure to stow a few spare parts like LED strips and bioreactor components in case repair or replacements is needed. In case the culture dies, astronauts can replace it with a new batch of microalgae stored in a reserve compartment. System 4, Space Garden. Tending to the aeroponic garden supports mental health and offers access to fresh, locally grown food. It's also beautiful to look at. Here we're planting arugula and radicchio seeds in rock wool nested in capsules. Each capsule is then secured with a foam insert and placed in the garden. To optimize growth, 4500 to 6000 Kelvin full spectrum light shines on the plant. This is generated by an assemble of LEDs at targeted wavelengths. The tubes that carry the capsules deliver water and nutrients as needed. Within one week, leafy greens have sprouted. After two weeks, the microgreens are ready to eat. To harvest, turn off the water pump, then pull out the capsules one by one. Be sure to seal each opening with the lids to keep the system sanitary. Snip off the desired leaves using a pair of scissors. Each production yields a couple of delicious fresh salads per week. The remaining roots are then removed and the rock wool is microwaved for 20 seconds to sterilize for the next planting. As seeds are harvested, capsules are cleaned and reseeded for the next growing cycle. In case of contamination, each tube can be rinsed with 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide, then replenished with sterilized capsules. The only non-renewable inputs are seeds, fertilizer, and nutrients. With the Space Culinary Lab, we're expanding options and textures and flavors in the astronauts' menu, while designing interactions that help establish rituals and even enable play. Because of its kitchen-like qualities, the lab brings a bit of Earth to space. This low-input, low-maintenance lab can be easily translated into a system that can benefit people on Earth who have limited access to beautiful, diverse, nutritious, and locally grown food.